We have uh, two main important uh, data that is presented at the ACR 2018 uh, meeting uh, this year uh, about in melanoma, about uh, uh, using uh, pembrolizumab in adjuvant settings, but also uh, an interesting uh, result from a phase 1b using uh, TLR agonist uh, uh, in uh, PD1 resistant melanoma. The phase 3 adjuvant trial that has been published in the New England Journal of Medicine at the same time at, uh, from the, uh, the plenary presentation um, consists of uh, 1,019 patients, uh, stage 3 uh, resectable uh, melanoma, who were treated either by uh, Pembro, uh, 200 mg flat dose IV uh, every uh, three weeks, uh, up to 18 uh, doses for a year, compared to placebo. And uh, this, in, this study has an interesting design because uh, in, a, in a second part, the, the patient who will be uh, having a recurrence of their disease will be unblinded and uh, will cross over to uh, the Pembro arm. So the primary endpoint was relapse-free survival. The efficacy data is pretty clear in favor of the Pembro arm with a hazard ratio of 0 0.57 and a relapse-free survival rate of uh, 71% compared to 53% uh, at 18 months for uh, the PEMRO arm. In terms of overall outcomes, uh, this benefit is seen throughout the different subgroup analyses, so no matter what the pdl one status is or uh, the BRAF status. In terms of toxicity, there is no new signal compared to what has seen before. Uh, these toxicity are immune-related and uh, it seems to be less toxic what, what is seen with CTLA-4 inhibition or interferon and comparable with other uh, anti-PD-1. The most frequent toxicity are fatigue, rash and uh, uh, thyroid dysfunction. There has been one death due to uh, toxicity. It was a patient who suffered from myositis. So it reminds us we have to be cautious with uh, immune-related adverse events. The implication of these findings are the fact that PEMBRO is now an option for adjuvant uh, treatment in melanoma. Um, it is uh, uh, another option among uh, uh, NIVO that has shown a superiority compared to EP, but also the Dabra Trame uh, study uh, that was uh, showing uh, a benefit in the adjuvant setting for BRF mutated patients. So we definitely need now uh, more studies to compare these different options to find out what we should use in the clinical uh, practice. The other key uh, message is also we will have in a couple years the results from the second part of the study, uh, which are the patients who are uh, having a relapse and that receive PEMRO. And we will find out if uh, getting PEMRO at the relapse compared to uh, in the adjuvant settings is similar or not. We had a second uh, important study that was presented at ACR. This study was a phase 1b study. We included so far 69 patients. Most, pa most patients were progressing after anti-PD-1. 91% of them were progressing after anti-PD-1. Uh, this was using a, a TLR9 agonist, a CMP-001. It was administered weekly at the beginning and then every three weeks, combined with PENRO. Uh, in terms of efficacy, there have been seen 22% of overall response rate with two complete responses, so a very interesting and promising data in the phase 1b settings. Uh, in terms of toxicity, the toxicity seemed uh, acceptable. Uh, there were some toxicity related more to intratumor injection of innate agonist, in particular flu-like symptoms or site injection pain, uh, but also there was some hypotension related to treatment. Um, but overall it was pretty manageable. There were some translational uh, studies that were performed, in particular CD8 and PD1 immunohistochemistry that clearly shown uh, an increase of CD8 infiltration and PD1 expression in, uh, after treatment in patients. Uh, so this supports completely the mechanism of action that is expected with intratumoral uh, TL9 agonist. Also, uh, there was um, uh, uh, an immune signature that was uh, increased when patients were treated. So all of that really support the, the mechanism of action of these drugs. These results are very promising for uh, melanoma patients progressing on anti-PD-1. 
which is uh, patients who are patients who have uh, acquired resistance. They are potentially interesting also for patients who are uh, primary resistant to immunotherapy, as this uh, intratumor injection may prime the immune system to trigger a prolonged response. Um, so the uh, extension cohort is ongoing, so we'll have more patients and hopefully we'll see uh, similar uh, results in terms of efficacy. These results in melanoma are also interesting for uh, other tumor types and this type of strategy of intratumoral injection with innate agonists is potentially very interesting for uh, cold tumors that are not responding so far to anti-PD-1 therapy. Mm -hmm.